Hi, this is Nick from Vapor Leaf, and today I'm showing you the iSub B tank by Inakin. The iSub B is the sixth generation of tanks from the iSub line, and they bring us the promise of high performance using much lower power with their new Plex 3D mesh coil. It has capillary wicking action, and it actually is layered up so that juice travels along the coil giving you much more clouds, much greater flavor without using as much wattage. However, all of the original iSub coils are compatible with this tank. So you can literally vape anything from about 10 to 70 watts or run temp control on this. The iSub B is a twist open tank with an automatic flood prevention built in. This top is springy, and as you open it, the spring pops up, closing off all the slots that allow access of juice from the tank to the coil itself. Okay, so to prime this tank, we are first going to want to remove the coil from the tank. You're going to want to grip the base and screw it counterclockwise to remove this piece. You'll want to set your base aside and then grip the coil, this 510 bit sticking out, and just pull up. And the coil should just come right out for you. At this point, you'll want to prime the coil by adding e-juice to the cotton. If you over prime, you can wrap the coil in a tissue, shake it out, and then dry off any excess liquid on the outside. At this point, we'll replace the coil. When you install the coil, notice these flat sides on the coil right here, and also notice these metal guides that protrude on either side right here. You're going to want to make sure you line those up and just push the coil in and then make sure it sits completely flat surrounded by those little protective guides. Now the coil's installed. We can put the cap back on, screw this on clockwise. Okay, now we're ready to fill up our tank. To do this, you're gonna wanna grip the metal lid and push down slightly and turn counterclockwise. The entire lid should come off with the attached drip tip. You're going to want to take your juice bottle and you're going to want to go in between the glass and this metal chimney. This is your airflow, so you don't want to get juice in here. It will just flood your coil and it won't be a pleasant experience. So just put your tip right in between the metal and the glass and fill her up to the top. And then we're going to put our lid back on. And screw it clockwise and make it nice and snug. At this point, you can put the tank on your device, set it to the lowest recommended wattage, and vape. If you want to grab one of these tanks, they're available for purchase at vaporleaf.com or in our store in Lakewood, Colorado. Thanks for watching.